Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. So I'm getting ready to go in for the uh, the initial shock. I can smell the Anyone? pet waste and um, I can smell okay. the ammonia from the cats. The walls are yellowing from the smoke from smoking inside the building. This is a, this is just, there's a cat that just ran back that way. This is a huge case of depression. Oh, this isn't the worst we've seen. We've seen far, far worse. I don't have any gloves on right now, so I'm just trying to kick the doors open. Um, there's animal waste everywhere, everywhere. I'm not going to venture any further in right now because I'm not fully fully uh, dressed up for this, but I just wanted to kind of see what we were working with. I feel like I wish you guys had smell-o-vision so you could actually smell what's what, what we're smelling right now. Um, it's actually burning my nose. I feel like my nose hairs are sizzling from the ammonia. We are at a uh, quarters home here. Uh, we're starting with the garage. We have our big uh, dumpster. I'm suited up because we're going to be going inside and it's got a lot of animal waste and uh, it's probably knee high of uh, trash and stuff so we've got this on here. I'll probably wear a respirator in there because the ammonia levels are, are decently high. She has two cats but she has two dogs as well and they've never been let out so uh, it's just really eight years of accumulation breaks my heart because I have um, I have two dogs, two teacup Yorkies, and Laura said that they're, the dogs that are here are identical to mine, and mine are spoiled rotten. Um, it's heartbreaking. We're an animal-loving company. We all have animals. So this is kind of gut-wrenching to me. Just knowing, like, my dogs are inside. Yeah. Fucking kills me, like. Yeah. But the hardest part is knowing you didn't do this on purpose. No, no, that's like, the part. It's, it's hard. Depression. What? That fucking thing was heavy. Yeah. Fucking I'm speed not, it up. Needs to chest. Needs to chest, bitch. Needs to chest. Let's do this. Oh, after you. This job is, is a little nasty, but it's not so hard. It's, it's easy job. To be a hoarding, it's easy. You can tell she was really depressed. You can tell she was, she's going through something. I love total clean outs. Me too. Because it makes life so much simpler not having to pick and right. choose. Well, also, we it's only like have a, a tiny huge list. Transfer transformation. I just love the before and after. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Instant satisfaction. Yeah. We are famous. No, we're not. Don't even try. Don't even try to be like your family. There's two that are seen. I'm waiting for the third. I will cry if it's up my life. Where do they go? I don't know, which is why I'm freaking out. I thought you guys put them outside or something. No, they started going up the wall. So, so I left them alone. Laura, you have something crawling on you. Shut the fuck up. I swear to God. It's not a spider. I couldn't tell that from far away. But did you notice open. I didn't cry like a little schoolgirl like you I would have been. Yeah. You did. I would have been dying. Somebody give me a maxi pad. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I don't use maxi pads. Yeah, moms. Yeah. Uh, there's two of them. Oh, okay. Go outside, are they jumping? No. Go that way. 
So we finally made it inside the hoarder home here. And let me tell you, it is challenging in here. We, I, I'm 5'5", five five and I have garbage stacked up to my, my waist. And uh, there's just pizza boxes, mostly food containers. Um, there's evidence of rats, very large spiders, cockroaches. Um, just to see this, just makes me sad for the client because she was living in this misery for eight years. So I'm super excited to be able to help her and to turn this around. And we're, we're working today in 94 degree heat. It is super, super hot. This makes it worse. I'm breathing through a straw, essentially. So the environment is challenging. Um, the smell is intense. That's why we're wearing respirators. I don't smell anything right now. But, um, you know, we're, we're super grateful that we're able to help somebody like this. And uh, I can't wait to get through this and to show her her new house in two short days. Oh my god. Oh Jesus, fuck Holy me. Fuck. Oh. oh my god, it fucking flew. What is it? It's a rope. Oh Jesus. Don't put it on me, you asshole. I'm not, it's flying. Ah. Ah. Shit, shit, go, go. Kill it, step on it. <laughs> I go. Jesus Christ! It's like Jurassic oh. Park in here! God, These bugs like... are bigger than my feet! Oh god, what was that? Holy fuck, I think I was Palmetto. What is on me? Nothing. No. Okay. Oh my god. There was a spider on it. <laughs> oh, it's just dirt. It's wet. What are these poor cats gonna eat? Do you That's... think they're eating this? What do you think they're eating? Leftovers on the floor. Oh, let's put it right there. You have to look at the expiration. Two thousand and eight? No. Oh. They'll die. Yeah. They're better off eating roaches. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to give you an update on our hoarding situation here in Pasco County, Florida. Uh, we are probably six and a half hours into the cleanup. There's uh, five of us here. We have already dumped one large trailer of this size. Um, and now we almost have the second one completely full here. So this is uh, 24 cubic yards of waste. It holds up to uh, two and a half, three tons. Right there, we, bought, we started off with the garage and we are using it as a staging area for very few keep items that she wanted to keep, which was really just jewelry, purses, and pictures. So this room was, was pretty bad here. Um, it was probably knee high, maybe a little higher. The kitchen had a ton of spiders and roaches, so it was challenging to uh, get them all in garbage yeah. bags. So, uh, follow me. We found um, food from 2008, and I mean, it was really old, old stuff. You can see on the floor, finally, um, there's still tons of spiders and tons of fast food and food packages. Um, we're, we're really gonna end up throwing 99% of all her house away and she's going to start fresh. So this was probably stacked, I would say about four feet high. Um, and then this room, uh, we're working on this now. We couldn't even walk in here. So at least now you can see some uh, carpet. And then uh, we have all of this debris here. So, you know, she's only keeping like this TV and stuff, but take a look at this ceiling fan. That is years of accumulation. 
you have tons of feces back here too. The bed, so it looks like they were using this room for their bathroom. Um, you know, animals want to be clean, but when you leave them no alternative, they don't really have anywhere else to go. So in this room, you can see tons and tons of bags of cat food. And uh, we have a couple more hours here. This project will take us uh, probably two days to do a clean out of five people um, and then two days to really deep clean it and get it, you know, where all this spider webs and everything are, are on the ground. We're going to pull this carpet up. We're going to pull the padding up and uh, she is going to start fresh, which is fantastic because she's going to get a brand new beginning and uh, I'm happy to give it to her. It's it's always fun when you're working for Spalding's Econ. Do you not have them in your job box? You There's no suits in there? Okay. You want to see me lose my shit right now? Why don't you have any suits in your truck? I'm never having suits in my truck. What do you mean? Because everyone has suits. in their box. You always have to have suits in your truck. I have some. But... No, he said you don't. You only have one. Let me see. Just one? Where? You said in this back, in this back shelf? I mean, it's part of what's supposed to be stocked in here. You have to keep everything on this list in here. Kyle has an extra one in his in his box that I can use, but what what the fuck? We gotta have suits in here. You guys are killing me. There's not in there. She must have forgot to put it on the list because there's not topics on the list on our list. It says PPE. But PPE is the box. Did she take the animals? Ask him. No. Oh my oh. god. She said, uh, she said None she... None of them? There's oh only two. God. No, the dogs. Oh, the dogs are gone. Oh, okay. she, it's just the cat, the two cats in there. I can clean anything. Why burn it? This house will be beautiful when I'm done with it. Anything. Why burn it when we can clean it? Yeah. Just toss it behind you into the kitchen. Hi, this is Laura. Hi, Laura. I wanted to tell you my cats are there. Um, I tried to catch them. I waited for about an hour this morning to see if they'd even come out, but they're just going to be. Oh, they're scared. So I don't know what to do. Okay, well, we'll be careful. Yeah, We've got really the doors scared, closed. So that's okay. We'll be careful. Oh, we, we, oh, okay. I, I just didn't know. I'm so sorry. You have to deal with that. Oh, it's fine. It's no problem. But they'd be okay, but they're not. It's okay. It's okay. Did you? Were you able to walk around and see our progress? No. Oh my gosh, you guys are fabulous. Good, good. I told you we'd get this done in a couple days, and then uh, we'll start the cleaning tomorrow. Okay. Oh, Laura, I can't thank you enough. Oh, it's my pleasure. No worries. I'll check in with you later when we leave today, okay? Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. She is so nice. Like, I love dealing with clients like that because they're so appreciative of what we do. Um, she just, like, she makes it. Isn't she awesome? I'm coming in with no mask for the first time, and we're about midway on day two and it smells like god it's so hard to describe like urine and dust it smells like a dog kennel like the humane society yeah yeah a dog kennel it smells just unhealthy i would say Unhealthy.
And it makes me sad because she's been living in this for eight years. So that means that she has been breathing this in, which she feels like she's used to it. It doesn't probably smell bad to her, but it had to affect her health. It had to have. I mean, there's just no other way around it. Close. Back there. Maybe back there. Just toss it. Oh, yeah, I see them. Oh, shit! There's one. Oh, shit! What the fuck? <laughs> Here it goes! Yes! Good job! He got it. Next. Oh, my God. He's on his way. Oh, guys. I figured out where all that hair came from. Dang! Dang! <laughs> oh my gosh. He's in bad shape. He's really rough. He's like up on my feet now. He's trying to hide under the chair. If you can get him in the kennel, I'll call her to come pick them both up. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying not to lose my shit at the same white. time. There's a double cage back here. Close it when he puts it in. Right. There we go. Jesus. How many technicians does it take to hurt a cat? Right. You know what? Just be gentle because um, he's super freaked out. I'm going to call the client because this cat <coughs> needs immediate vet assistance because he's not well at all. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Did you get my message? Yeah, we did. Um, the, where is the Persian one now? In the back bedroom. Bedroom on the left. Uh, okay. Um, is it possible for you to put their food and water that I had next to that big uh, pop-up crate? Yep. There? Yes. Okay. Um, maybe he'll eat stuff from there. Um, does he seem weak or anything? Yeah, he just doesn't look good at all. Um, the other one looks fine. This one just doesn't look good at all. Lethargic, um, a lot of matted hair. Uh, well, that's the hair. That's his Persian hair. I right. get him groomed every like two months. Right, right. I don't. I just think it might be good for you for him to see a vet. Okay. Um, well, I have a, um, a psychology appointment at three o'clock. Okay. And then I'll come over. I'll head over that way and see how he's doing. Okay. I think maybe he needs to just be left alone with his food and water. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, bye bye. He thinks it's just because he needs to be groomed. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. He has a rash all in that spot where there's yeah. no hair. It's like a hot rash or something. I mean, they've been living in their own excrement for years, in their own filth. They haven't had a bath. They you haven't see? had normal air to breathe. It's all ammonia. And they don't even have a litter box. That's a Persian cat, and it has a lot of hair. So a lot of hair. Once it, it fresh poop, fresh shit. Like as soon as it walk over any fresh, it's matted to matted to the hair. Cow's face. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, hopefully, she'll do the right thing. But it sounded like she didn't want to take him to the vet. No, because they'll take her him away. Yeah, that's why. Yeah did not pick up the cat. She picked up one. She didn't pick up the, she other. Didn't get the other. She doesn't have time today, she said, so... Why didn't she just get a bump today? I don't... At the same time. I don't know, but I, we're not even touching that Which room. Which one did she not pick up? The sick one? She didn't pick up the freaking spastic one. Oh, great. I'm still in shock at this shit, but... So how's it going? Is it, is it working? Method? Um, I don't know, because I had to break up a fight. So, so at this point, you focus on your stuff. You focus on your stuff. That would be ideal. We'll tackle it later. That would be ideal. Easy as that. There's a deli over here. You're doing something retarded. How am I doing something retarded? Because there's no point in taking it down. Okay, well, if, if Kyle or Laura want it that way, then that's what they'll get. But you're not the fucking boss, all right? Dude, I am the lead. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No. Now, should you tell this man I am a thief? Right. I'm not saying shit. Everybody mind your own business.
They're separated. One's in one bathroom, the other's gonna be in the other bathroom. And I told them if they wanted to fight it out, I'll record it on lunch break. Yeah, there you go. Make sure we get it on camera. Yeah, so I mean, other than that, um, everybody's on separate ends. And I have just become the, uh, the principal of Spalding Middle School. Yeah. Okay, good deal. If I tell you that the customer says she wants to keep something, that means don't throw it away. Don't take it down, don't throw it away, don't bother with it. Uh, he still consists on taking it down and uh, throwing it away. He tells me that um, I'm not in charge of him, but uh, in reality, I am a lead. For the past two days, Lord's been sending me, uh, been like telling me that I need to handle it. Like I need to handle the situation with him speeding up, he needs to move quicker and doing his job. Like um, yesterday, I, I, I pulled him. I pulled him to the side, told him, like, you know, you gotta pick it up. Like, um, it, um, you're making yourself look bad, and you're making us look bad when Laura's telling us, like, you're not holding your weight in this job. And um, and uh, I guess he got mad. Uh, he he's showing that he's mad. No, I just coming to work early this morning, and you know I have to reorganize the trailer because Bennett doesn't know how to organize a trailer. You know I'm cleaning up his work. I get here early, like I said. And yesterday he's delegating stuff while you know he's sauntering around, you know sweeping up areas that are already clean and telling me I need to put a hop step in it and. I know I'm not the fastest worker and I can work slow at times. I'm fat and it's hot out, but I keep a steady pace and I get the job done that I need to get done and I, you know, I don't tell anybody what to do. And, you know, for him to start barking orders when, when he's not, you know, doing his job, I can only take so much of that. You know, I don't care what your military service was like. We're not in the military anymore, you know, if what you have to say is even true. Every job, it's been consistent with him. He's slow moving. It takes him long, long times just to fin finish simple jobs. Like I um, give him simple tasks, and it takes him entirely too long to finish a task. Like yesterday in that back bedroom, it took him three hours, and Laura and Kyle finished basically that living room and half of that bit, the master bedroom before he even finished one small room. It's not fair to the rest of us. It's just, it's annoying when, when somebody acts like their shit doesn't stink. It's like you're going out of your way to tell somebody what to do when you're not doing your own job. You know, don't pick a piece of dust out of somebody's eye when you've got a plank in your own. I'm not the yelling type to start yelling at somebody or uh, like, I don't like yelling at people, like even when it being in the military and stuff, that wasn't my leading style. Like, uh, like even though in the military, when you, when you're, uh, when you're put in charge and your men respect you, you tell them something and they, they go do it. They, there's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Like I said, up until like two days ago, I thought he was a swell guy. Then he comes in here, he acts like he's some big swinging dick. Like, oh, do this, oh, do that, I need you on a hop step. You know, we don't care if you got shot. You know, you tell us a fucking 100 times a day. Thank you for your service. Quit bringing it up, you know? Okay, cool. But he sits there and brags about, you know, shit that they did 10 years ago. And they act like they're the fucking boss. There's three people here that have more seniority than you. I've worked, you know, just as long as him. So you're gonna act like, you know, you're my boss. Laura and Kyle are my boss. If Juan has something to say to me, you know, listen to him. Some guy comes around and he's just, so I'm turning around. Oh man, put a hop step in it. Pick up my fucking trash, dude, you know? <laughs> I don't know, it's just annoying. This is a fast paced job. Like, we gotta do everything quickly. Like, get, like, working with mold, working with bio and stuff. Everything gotta be done quickly. And, and he doesn't move, he, he doesn't move quick enough. So, this, at this point, it's time for him to find another line of work. I mean, the, that situation is like a kid situation because when you have a problem, you just have to talk with the other person. Uh, the problem is they are 
fighting in the middle of everybody. So that's, for me, that's so stupid. The problem is you just have to talk with the other person and that's it. They both are wrong. I think it's bullshit. Like, separate yourself. Fucking grown adults. Grown adults. Separate yourself. Do your own thing. If you don't like something, then don't start screaming about it. Separate yourself and go get verified. Verifiable information goes a long way. I'm gonna pull my face off. So we're here in Pasco County again, still for day number four. Uh, this was our hoard. We're done! Finally, it's seven o'clock and I think it's still, it's 87 degrees at seven o'clock at night. Um, you can see we scrubbed everything. You can actually see through the glass. This is the living room. We're not gonna go into the master bedroom because the master bedroom is where the cats are. Um, come on, man. Yeah. Ceiling fan is clean. We removed all of the carpeting out of here. I don't know if you guys actually got a good look at the carpet. I wouldn't have slept on it. Kitchen is done. If you go in here, you can see pantry, spotless. I hand scrubbed the freezer and the fridge. All of the appliances are completely scrubbed out. Cabinets, nope, I'll open this one so you can actually see in this one. It looks like a brand new kitchen. Follow me through a heel. Uh, coming on Monday, she's having a flooring guy come in. She's gonna also have a painter come in. She doesn't need to replace any of the fixtures because we were able to clean them and salvage them. Bathroom, we've all used it at least twice today. Spare bedroom, cobwebs are actually on the outside. Everything on the inside is clean. We removed the closet doors, wiped everything down. Since she's painting, and redoing the floors, we left them aside for her. It would be easier for her new crew to come in and take care of stuff. Hallway, again the closet, the linens. This is the worst room of the hall, actually, with, uh, with the urine and the fecal matter. You can see here, she's actually gonna have a hard laminate or tile put in. So she's having all of the tack stripping ripped up because we weren't able to actually clean it. We could have done that, but she's paying somebody else to come in and do the whole rebuild of it. I think we do provide hope. I think we provide a new beginning, uh, a new lease on life, a new start. And this house is the perfect scenario. She lost her entire family eight years ago. She's in a deep depression and she's living in filth because this is the way that she feels inside. And just from the first time meeting her, she's so embarrassed and she's so sad and I just wanted to help her and I want to transform this house to where when she comes home, she's actually happy to be home. And she's not living in spiders and roaches and milk from 2017 and, you know, the stench in here is just horrid. The cats, the dogs, there's feces everywhere. So no one should have to live like that. And it's just super sad that someone can get that depressed that they want their environment to match how they feel on the inside. It's just super sad. You know, I think the biggest misconception that I see from our followers and viewers is they think that hoarders are lazy. And that honestly could not be further from the truth. They're not lazy. They are debilitated by depression. And I know everyone has had a bad day and they've been depressed or sad at some point in their life where you just wanna lay on the couch all day. Well, that day that you're laying on the couch, you're probably not putting your trash in a bag and taking it out. Imagine that every single day for years. And that's what's causing these people to do this. They are not lazy at all. They're just debilitated by depression and a tragic event that happened in their life. You have no idea how that makes me feel. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. No worries.